<laughs> What's up guys? Here I am, I'm gonna be doing the day in the life of a co-op student. I usually go to sleep around 1.30, I know that's pretty late. Um, I don't get much sleep, maybe six hours. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow morning, I guess. talk it is 7 30 40 uh, yeah already now i just need to go eat breakfast Some boiled eggs kiwis and almonds and chai i know it's an all over the place combo but it's like standard it's quick it's easy so i'm gonna eat that i'll pack my lunch I already have my chicken made my rice made and my broccoli made and then we're gonna head out Try to catch the 828 train at Cooksville. So, out of the house now. Just made it. It's like 8.07-ish. Uh, yeah. The weather's pretty meh. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try to make the 828 train. Let's see if we make it. Parking's the real issue. I don't really care about making the train. I care about getting parking. So, I'm going to hurry up now. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm doing Android development. Uh, you get into the office, turn up your computer, and you do that. I mean, you just start coding or like doing or working on whatever you left on from yesterday. Uh, yeah, so I uploaded today, it was actually cool. Today, I uploaded the apps to the Play Store. Um, that's my first time doing that, so I learned how to do that. That was pretty cool. So it's that time of day, it's like 1 32, and I need that coffee. Um, it's usually my one and only coffee of the day. I'm trying out this new place actually today. Let's see how it is. Uh, it's kind of far though. I didn't realize it's this far. Or maybe I'm walking the wrong way. One of the two. It's pretty chill. You can show up whenever you want. Like eight between 8:30 and like 10. I usually show up at nine. I guess leave earlier. I'm gonna leave early. Like tomorrow I have physio with this. So I'm leaving early. Man, just like yeah, sure. Doesn't really matter. They're pretty chill about it, which I really like. Coffee was actually really good. Um, I didn't get to film it because I drank it. I was enjoying it. Um, gotta go back, got a meeting at three, which is in like 15 minutes. So yeah, and then it's back to coding. I don't wanna talk about the job too much because I know it varies a lot from different coder to different coder, like what your role is. Uh, but yeah, that's mainly, I feel like on, like if you generalize it, it's get in and around nine, code, lunch, some people grab coffee, you like go back to coding, googling, screwing around, um, grab coffee, and you head out. I think that's really about it. Slight continuity issue, I guess. Uh, this is a few days after that, like everything you've seen thus far, because of my wrist, I screwed it up. It's a bit better now, so I'm going to Muay Thai. 
Um, so I get home around like six, and then I have like 45 minutes to make a smoothie, drink the smoothie, and then head out. So it's like pretty quick change, get out. Um, and then the class starts at seven. I don't think I'll be filming much in there because like it's a class, I can't really do that. Um, maybe I'll have like a little sequence of me going. Um, but that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, honestly. Uh, yeah, so one of the reasons I wanted to make this was just how much time you have in your day kind of thing. And I feel like a lot of this part of the day gets like shoved under the rug, I guess. Um, the days I wasn't working out because of my wrist, uh, it became like nighttime so quick and I didn't even realize like where the time went. But days I do go, so much gets done and I still have time. So I think for, it's like hard to realize how much time you have until you like start doing things and you're like, oh, I can squeeze more things into that little time. So I don't know how to like suggest trying to use your time more wisely. It's maybe just try to do more things and you'll try. And if you really enjoy them, you'll find a way to squeeze them in for sure. Yeah, you'll notice you'll always manage to make time for things you really want to do. Um, so I guess try to find those things you're passionate about and then you'll find a way to work them into your schedule, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. I know I'm like, I have a lot of time gaps, leaks, I don't know, within my day but I try to do the best I can. And I guess that's what you should aim for as well. Coming back after a long time, I got absolutely pummeled. Like, that was horrible. I mean, it was so much fun, but like, I sweat, like I was dripping sweat. But yeah, now it's like around 8.30. I'm just stretching and I'm gonna head back and then eat some food. So by the time I finish stretching and doing all that, it's 8.45. Uh, feeling kind of tired today. It's been a while, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna go home and shower now and I'll see you guys after that. And I showered and we're ready. I'm gonna go eat. Um, usually, for me at least, I usually eat and then spend time with my parents downstairs before I come up and work and do whatever I need to do. What time is it right now? I need a clock. <laughs> it is 9.15 and then we're about to go eat now. So yeah. It's now 10.30 and I ate. I was downstairs for a bit, I relaxed. And then now I'm gonna start doing, so I'm working on this video right now. I need to get all the audio files because the beat gonna be made by someone else. So I need to send them all the files. So I need to do that right now. And I'm gonna try to edit the spicy noodle challenge video. So yeah. So see, there's still a lot of time left in the day. I usually sleep around 1.30. I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. But that's how I, like I don't feel tired until 1.30. I just know I should go to sleep or else I'm gonna be just screwed the next day which I end up being screwed the next day. <laughs> but but if I stay, I could stay up later. Like that's not the issue for me. So yeah. So it is one o'clock. Um, I was editing and I was doing a different video. I ran into some technical issues with that. Somehow it never goes smoothly. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm editing it right now, as you can see. It's going to be some video inception going on. And I think this is going to be the end of the video, pretty much at the end of the day. I hope you guys got some insight on to what it's like to be a co-op student. I guess to wrap this all up, um, that's pretty much my average day. There's here and there, there's a few changes, but that's what my day looks like on average. Um, of course, I wasn't working like constantly from whatever I said, 11 till now. I took some breaks, I talked with people, but I would say I got enough done to be satisfied. Um, but yeah, I think the main purpose or the main reason I wanted to make this is to not let not having enough time in your day hold you back as your excuse. If there's something you want to do, just go for it. Um, I think not, yeah, not having enough time. There's so many other worse things that could happen and you would be thankful to have that excuse. Um, hopefully not, but if someone's health goes bad or something like that, that's definitely a way worse reason. And that's a legitimate reason you can't do whatever you want to do. But right now, if everything's going well in your life and there's something on your mind, just go for it. You won't regret it. The worst case scenario, you fail. People talk about it for a month and then that's the end of that. I guess the best way or best analogy I can give is 
celebrities who pass away, famous celebrities who pass away, we talk about them on average for a few days, a week, a month. And we don't talk about them. That's just the reality of the situation. So if you failing on some small project, it won't be talked about. So don't worry about that. Don't let that stop you. Don't let people's opinions stop you. I guess to be honest, I cared a lot about what people thought, but I mean, slowly and slowly, this whole process has really helped me like push that down and get out of that loop. You feel way more free and liberated. Like it sounds really cheesy, but that's, that's honestly how I feel after, I guess, doing all of this. So it's a really nice feeling to actually do what you want to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll stop ranting now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, stay hungry. <laughs>